Hi, my name is David Revoix and in this video I will show you a time lapse of a drawing I made. It's uh, four of my characters from my webcomic uh, Pepper and Carrot. You can recognize probably, I'm not sure to pronounce their name very well. Uh, on the left, Coriander, Pepper, Shishimi and uh, the last one, Saffron. So this time lapse video will be mostly about Saffron the character of the right, uh, this one maybe I, I will show you here, uh, because uh, the workflow is very repetitive and uh, if I show you all the time lapse it will be boring, so uh, we will see uh, only one character and the other will be very fast, just uh, I will jump in the video. So here is Krita 2.9.11 and uh, the main customization I have about the preferences uh, in this uh, version of Krita is uh, an option to get the tool option, it's a docker usually, and I get it as a button here. And uh, if you want to activate it, just go to setting, configure Krita, in general you move to the tab tools and here you can get the tool option location to be in the toolbar and not as a docker. So in the toolbar you press OK. Maybe we will need a little restart but uh, after that you will get your tool option here and if you switch the tool you will get all the option always on one click in the toolbar. And uh, I'm using a stabilizer and a preset with it. And uh, my setting for the stabilizer, so here in the tool option docker, the stabilizer I use is a 46.8 and it's a good setting for my uh, screen and tablet size. And also I uncheck the scale distance. So here is the first step of the video, it's about sketching and as you can see I'm on the canvas zoomed at 50% uh, and I'm using a very thin uh, brush preset and I'm starting to build uh, some uh, structure uh, to, to get a volume of my character so it doesn't look like a, a character yet, it's just like a mannequin and I'm trying to find a good angle to make some guide for the position of the eyes, for the middle of the face and the nose. And uh, slowly I'm adding details and a bit more landmarks. So the goal of the sketch step is uh, really to just get an idea of the pose of the character or the facial expression and uh, to place a bit of landmark. I'm, I'm not really detailing everything. Uh, I, I, I just try to let a lot of work for the inking pass because if I just do a sketch too detailed, I just get boring when I do the line art. Uh, so I, I need when I do the line art to have something to draw. And uh, that's why the sketch is, uh, as you can see, I keep a, a zoom out. Oh, here, a quick transformation to, to transform because the character was a bit uh, unbalanced. And uh, the, the sketch is ready to, ready to, to just get the, the big volume uh, at the right place. If I get the, the big picture and uh, the big silhouette, uh, I usually feel comfortable to, to draw over this. So I'm just adding more landmark to some smaller detail, but uh, it's already, uh, the overall is already done. And I think uh, this little sketch took uh, like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm saving the file. So oh, I'm just switching uh, the eraser and the brush presets a lot. And I will not detail the leg because uh, it was just a fun practice exercise. I just want to, to draw a bit the characters. And uh, I think it's done. So for the other characters it's a bit the same workflow. 
I'm just proposing you now uh, a little acceleration about it so you can see uh, how the process was but uh, uh, there is nothing special just erasing, transforming and moving things around I just try to keep everything on the separate layers just to move the character easily but uh, um, that's how I do the sketch part The second chapter of this time lapse is about uh, line art and uh, to do it I just resize the canvas to be a bit bigger so I can still keep uh, the 50% uh, size on the viewport and or a bit more like uh, 67 but uh, not going till 100% on the zoom uh, so I resize uh, a bit up the, the sketch to have a bigger canvas and then I turned the sketch uh, to a bright blue uh, color. You can find it on a, a previous video how to turn uh, the sketch on a bright blue color. And uh, then I just take my preset and I start to draw. So uh, for me inking is not really to just do pretty lines and uh, to redo a drawing. Uh, it's uh, a part of drawing itself. So. That's why my sketch has not a lot of details and uh, I try to, to draw at the inking part and not just redo a pretty line over an existing line. So here you can see that I details a bit uh, more everything. I try to make different line weight. Uh, so thin line and a thicker line. I if you want a simple rules uh, you have the lines outside the character, the silhouette, the main shapes can be a bit thicker. Uh, the light mat material like air, like uh, thin tissue or fabrics, uh, this one can be uh, a little thinner because uh, it's not heavy and if you have something in metal or something in a solid object, it can be a bit thicker. Um, you can also make thicker line on the shadow part and a thinner line on uh, the part where there is uh, some light and uh, with all these little rules you, you can have uh, some clue to, to, to make some line variation that makes sense just not a random, si uh, random size variation but uh, to really think about a system and uh, this really helps to, to make, a, to make a, a more pleasing result for the eyes and something more easy to read. So for example, the main shape of the clothes are more thick line and uh, the, the little uh, stroke uh, for the details of the sculpture are, are really, 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 really thinner. So, if I do the, the main shape of a uh, uh, clothes, I will do some very thick line. So here I'm even doing a, a preset on the fly uh, to save uh, a larger version of this brush. And you can find uh, this result brush on the video, nothing exceptional. But uh, I try to do the, the main shape first and then uh, add some little details some little strokes that tells about the, the inner volume, like the sewing or like uh, the little border. So that's all. It's not, uh, it's not very complicated, but uh, it's a game because uh, uh, sometimes you have a part in the light, but it's also a part of the silhouette. So it's, it's hard to know, to, to, to do a choice to, to, to tell uh, okay this line will be thinner and uh, b because it's on the light but it's also a part of the silhouette of the character so if I want my character to be easy to read I will need to make it thicker so there is always uh, some choice to do and uh, that's why I'm switching uh, the brush and the eraser a lot to uh, make a line a bit thicker a bit thinner 
and to keep drawing at the same time I'm doing all this choice. Uh, I will repeat this process on the four characters and uh, because uh, now it's uh, pretty straightforward I think I, I spent like three hours on uh, inking all these characters uh, I will just accelerate now the video a lot M maybe uh, it will lost a bit of uh, readability I think I'm already at uh, eight time of the normal video speed up and uh, I will probably boost it to uh, 20 time or something like this Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you will be a bit more confident uh, if you want to do some drawing with Krita. Uh, there is a, a lot of good tools on this uh, software and uh, that's the first time I'm trying to comment uh, a time lapse uh, with the microphone. So don't hesitate to comment and tell me if it was okay or if it was very hard to understand. Uh, and I will try to correct myself to make a better video in the future. Uh, have fun with painting and uh, see you next time. I still have a video about uh, the brush setting to do for you. Bye bye!